Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to take a look at more powered screwdrivers. This is the Skill. It is the newer version of the Skill. And we're going to get into this and see how it works. Now this is a quarter inch hex driver. It is USB micro to charge and I know that's a big turn off for a lot of folks. This is made in China. You can see right there. So let's get this open and see how it looks. Okay, so we got this thing opened up and right away I can see there's a few things that are interesting. These tips have a ball detent in them. Now I'm gonna be curious to see if... Okay, so the standard magnetic cheapy adapter one does not. I'm going to be curious to see if this tool has, it does have a grabbing chuck. So I'm not quite sure why they would do that. So now right off the bat, this tool, I can see you have to turn it one way or the other to get it to work. Now this thing also claims to have a non-contact voltage sensor built in and we'll put our USB charger here because we're going to charge this thing. And the non-contact voltage sensor is right here. You have a button to turn it on. That's an interesting feature. You can see I'm not overly close. That's 120, so it is pretty sensitive. And I mean, I guess that makes some sense. I think you have to get this close. I don't think it's the screwdriver itself. Yeah, the screwdriver tip itself doesn't really trigger. Maybe it does. Let's get out a tip here. Now this is a holding tip. But we're a little further away now. You can see. So this is the sensor. It does not sense with the screwdriver. Makes sense. It's kind of what I expected to see but got to test these things out. So like I said, it's micro USB. Let's get this thing plugged in and see how much current it charges with. If I can figure out how that goes in there. And let's see what indicators we have that it's charging. There is really nothing. Oh, there we go. There is a blinking green light that tells us that it's charging. It's charging with about an amp on the micro USB. And we're going to let this thing go, get fully charged, and then we'll be back to give it some tests. We have our inch pound test ready to go. We have our Vita root ready to take care of our RPM measurements. And we have our scale to see how heavy it is. So let's let this thing get charged up and we'll check all that out. Okay, so we are charged up here. I'm not pulling any current. We have a green light on the tool and of things of note, the tool does not run when it's uncharged, but the electric tester goes bananas. So we unplug that, we're back to normal operation, tool works, let's put our USB cable away, they give you a nice spot to clip it in the case here, and you have all of these tips, 
some security tips, some interesting tips with ball detent on them. And let's see here. This tip here, I believe this collar will work on any one of these tools. Let's just see here. Yep. So you can take this magnetic collar off of each one of these tips. Kind of an interesting setup. It's just a friction fit. And I guess, not quite sure why the ball detent when it already locks in. Not sure. But all the same, pretty interesting. Don't think we can get just these. Oh, they do lock in. Okay. So the tips do just lock in here, which is a nice feature. I kind of like that. You can see there's a little strike there on the surface of the tip. And inside of here, there is a piece part way down that'll grab these tips and hold them in. So if you're okay with it being short like that, it at least you're not gonna lose these tips in your workpiece. So that's a kind of nice little chuck there to hold things together. All right, so for now let's get this off to the side and we want to know what is our RPM on this rig. So we're going to put in a double serving purpose tool here and that is we can spin this and we can check the torque on it. Okay, so here we go tightening RPM. About 200. Leucine RPM. Also about 200. You can hear the tool has about the same pitch. So it's pretty clear that it's about the same. So now let's check what our torque is going to be. And we'll take this to stall. Turn on our tool here. Now this is recorded or set to record the maximum torque and display it on the screen. So we're just gonna run this and I'm gonna squeeze it to a stop. So we got eight pound inches and I'm gonna reset that. This should reset every time automatically but it's not a guarantee. We got eight again. Let's go loosening. We got nine that time. And we got eight that time. So we're in the eight to nine pound inch range, which if you recall, this might be one of the stronger ones we tested so far. And for our last test here, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the scale and see what it weighs. So just the base tool weighs 221 and a half grams. So there you have it. A very quick look at the skill powered screwdriver. I don't know if I like the rotary handle but it is definitely something different it's interesting they put a non-contact voltage tester on there I think this thing will get the job done none of these things have a very high level of torque which is okay because if you're just running screws a lot of times they're machine screws and they do have a torque lock on them. 
so that when this thing's locked, I can turn the screwdriver. I can even show that. We can turn the screwdriver way higher torsion than the screwdriver will power. So you can run your screws in and then give them a twist with the tool and not have any problems. So I think these in general are versatile. Their footprint is about the same as a normal screwdriver. This one being right around six inches in length on the body. And we're probably, let's see here. Let's see where we're at here on the body. Just turn this around, make sure we get the thickest part. So we're about an inch and five eighths OD at the thickest. Down here, we're around an inch and a half at the top here or at the handle. Just under inch and seven sixteenths or so. So this one is, I think, a little bigger than what we saw with the cobalt. Cobalt being a little bit smaller, but still both have their purpose. Cobalt has buttons. The skill has this rotary thing. It's not hard to turn, but it's not what I'm used to on things like this. And I think if you use it a bit, you probably get used to it. So there you go. We have a basic look at the skill powered screwdriver. These things are kind of nice. If you need something to run screws in, I think these are a good way to go. Try and save on the old carpal tunnel there. I figure I get a few of these to play around with and see which ones I like best. Let me know in the comments below, do you like this rotational thing? Does it seem like it goes pretty quick? When you're working on things, is there anything about the skill that you don't like? I know the micro USB is going to be a, a down check for a bunch of guys. Is there anything else? Has the non-contact uh, voltage tester been gimmicky or has it been handy? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.